Each term in the given series has three components. The first components of these terms are 1, 4, 7 and so on. And therefore, the first component of the general term of the series is equal to 3R minus 2. The second components of these terms in the given series are 2, 5, 8 and so on. And therefore, the second component of the general term of the given series is 3R minus 1. And finally, the third components of these terms in the given series are 3, 6, 9 and so on. And therefore, the third component of the general term of the given series is 3R. Putting these three components together, the general term UR of the given series is equal to 3R minus 2 times 3R minus 1 times 3R. This is equal to 3R times in brackets 9R square minus 9R plus 2, which is equal to 27R cube minus 27R square plus 6R. Therefore, the sum to n terms of the given series which is summation ur, r going from 1 to n, is equal to 27 summation r cube minus 27 summation r square plus 6 summation r. All the summations going from 1 to n. This is equal to 27 summation r cube, which is n times n plus 1 upon 2 whole square minus 27 summation r square, which is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 upon 6, plus 6 summation r, which is equal to n times n plus 1 upon 2. Now take n times n plus 1 upon 4 common, and in the brackets we are left with 27 times n times n plus 1 minus 18 times 2n plus 1 plus 12. Take 3 common outside the brackets and therefore Sn is equal to 3n times n plus 1 upon 4 multiplied by in brackets 9n square minus 3n minus 2. This can be written as 3n times n plus 1 upon 4 multiplied by in brackets 9n square minus 6n plus 3n minus 2. And this is equal to 3n times n plus 1 upon 4 multiplied by in brackets 3n times in brackets 3n minus 2 plus 3n minus 2. Which is equal to 3n upon 4 times n plus 1 times 3n minus 2 times 3n plus 1. And this is the required answer.